guys, Jeff here from Jeff's Custom RC, and I've got my camera crew, Wayne, here on the camera today. <laughs> and uh, we're in uh, the awesome studio that Wayne's been working on here lately, guys. I told you we got some great stuff coming. But uh, we've got the E-Flight 90 millimeter Viper Jet here, guys. And um, this is a very well-spoken jet, guys. A lot of people are loving this jet. It's uh, basically a spinoff of the E-Flight 70 millimeter Viper. And um, it's a lot of improvements over the 70 millimeter, such as all hard hinges, um, lights, nice uh, trailing link gear and retracts and it's 90 millimeter so, Woo! yeah and it's a pretty fast jet guys and uh, very well put together and so we're going to get right in this box so stick around and we'll be right back okay guys so we're back and again as i told you uh in the future video guys do not throw your boxes away. that's right because i mean you know for guys like Wayne who haven't got a trailer yet and he's only got a car or a truck on some days. But I have a Buick. <laughs> exactly. You know, guys, this makes your planes easy to transport. Definitely. They come, they come apart so easy That's nowadays. Right. Just like a marriage. Yeah, I mean, right. He's that quick, too. There's no gluing. And, I mean, why not do this, guys? Because you can be at the field and get it done and you're flying with only a few screws and no loose screws. Don't you already fly with a few screws? <laughs> yeah, always, man. We've all got loose screws somewhere. Absolutely. Right? But so, um, and guys, this is the bind and fly version of this jet as well. So we're gonna start out again. Now, if you wanna ever do this, take a picture of your box and number your parts. This, and guys, I'm telling you, this, this plane is, is really nice. We're gonna do a little more detailed unboxing today, guys. And I'll show you a few things that uh, pros and cons I like and don't like about this jet. So, that being said, if you notice, one wing is right side up, one wing is down. So, remember that when you're putting it back in the box. Now, unlike the 70 millimeter Viper, guys, you've got really nice stout hinges on your flaps, as well as hard hinges in your ailerons uh, and your flaps. Again, you've got your hard points all the way around this wing here. Very nice gear. These gear actually have, the wheels have bearings. Ooh, and that's nice. really nice, so they spin very nice. To me, if I'm not mistaken, guys, those look like the same wheels off of the uh, F4 Phantom, um, the E-Flight F4, so these are really nice. You also have all of your hard points, your slide-in connectors here. That's what makes these jets so nice to put together in the field. With a matter of screws, guys, you are flying in a few minutes. And nothing's gonna change by taking it apart and putting it back in the box. Just always check your surfaces. Um, again, you'll have your wing spar here. They did uh, tape the majority of the servo uh, cables. There's a few, I wish they would have come on and, and actually brought the tape over because I, I detest seeing servo leads. They did cover the servos, which is very nice. They did cover the wires here. So again, it's like, why wouldn't you cover them here and down here? There's also a spar that runs throughout the wing length there, guys, which really stiffens this wing up a lot. Flipping this over to the other side of the wing, one thing that I will show you that I was not really fond of, again, it's not a deal breaker on this jet, but for something that is as nice as this jet is, if you notice here, guys, you can actually see and feel the servo through the foam on this particular wing. Now, again, not a deal breaker, but as we all know, if you take a hard landing, things like that, we've all seen the servos punch through the wing over a period of time, and that's just not a good thing. So that's one of those things that you could reinforce if you chose right out of the gate. But also, if you look at this, and this is hard for you guys to see on, on camera, but if I rub my hand over this, it's raised slightly right here. You can almost tell where the glue was not happy with the foam in this particular pocket. And so the, the I don't know if you can get in on that yep. and tell it, but you can see where the foam reacted a little yeah, bit to it the seems glue. seems like it's a little chemical reaction going on exactly. there. Exactly. And again, not a deal breaker because this is such a nice jet, but again, for such a nice jet, why not fix this? 
to where you don't see it. Now, some guys have said, why don't they just paint this white? That would eliminate that problem. But again, you're talking weight, you're talking more money. This is already a pricey jet, guys. So, um, you know, again, not a deal breaker, but I wish you didn't see this. And that's actually, I'll show you, that's actually on both wings. Um, you'll see it on this one as prominently as you do. Yep right here just a little bit yep and it, and the the foam actually looks like it wasn't real happy with the yeah, uh, looks like it went into fish scale mode uh, gator mode gator yeah, mode okay. yeah mm -hmm. florida yeah, yeah exactly okay. exactly um and if you can see it's slightly raised just a little bit just a hair so and and it's really it's, it's sad considering how nice the finish is and the foam is such a nice dense foam all the way around um again very nice gear nice uh hinges on yeah the those flaps. are stout yeah those are very nice and you do have hard hinges in here i don't know let's see if i can yeah move that down for you guys and i'll show you you can see your hinge points oh yeah and those are really nice Got as them. well in there all yeah. of your linkages and looks your bottom, tight it is all of your linkages and everything are already pre-installed on your flaps and on all of your surfaces on this airplane as a matter of fact so that's really nice and some of you guys may be asking why this is a hard point for your winglets that will go on here and also cover oh, that light yeah. as well. The lights on this jet, guys, are super, super bright. You've got lights here, and you also have flashing intermittent lights here and other lights on the plane as well. They are super, super bright. Um, let's see. I'll lay this down here for you guys. All right. Now, getting deeper into the box. Deeper. <laughs> we're going to be pulling out this piece another piece and this piece which will reveal our vertical and our horizontal stabilizers um, and again take note as to how they're in the box so that if you just choose to put them back you can um, we'll start off with our horizontal first and again really really nice finish on this yeah it looks good it is very nice on this right here um, you've got again you know, basically just holes where your screws will come through with uh, your, your hard points. Hard points. These are actually, no, these are foam. That is a hard point on this uh, particular plane. Yes. These screws more or less just kind of pass through. I see. Go to the other hard points, which yes. captures it. Yes, exactly. So, and all of your uh, clevises and horns are screwed in from the back side, oh, yeah, which is really good. nice. Very nice. Pre-installed. Very nice. We'll flip this over. Now, again, not a deal breaker, but I'm going as nice as the finish is on this jet. I can't help but point it out if I'm going to be honest. Notice your mold release places on these jets. Yeah, those look a little big. Like I mean, they and they're rough too. I mean, they're not smooth like this. Got a I pretty mean, big indentation. You got one on both sides. Um, you could put a decal or a sticker or something over it if you didn't like it. You could actually fill it in with spackle, but then you're talking about sanding and painting. So, you know, it, again, not a deal breaker. But that is just a mold release is what that is, guys. And it's actually, it's on the bottom side. So again, you won't see it so bad because this will be your top side. Um, another nice feature of this airplane, you do have your hard hinge points yep. um, in your- Yeah, those are um, tight, looks yeah, good. In your elevators, that's really nice as well. Um, so that's, you know, always, the more we can have our nice hinges, the better off we are. Um, we'll set that right back in there. And then we'll come over here to the vertical. And again, hard points here, hard points on both sides here, which is very nice. And that's where I was telling you with this particular part right here, I'll get this back out of here and show you guys. The way this will sit down on here. Yeah, everything sits down and captures each exactly. other. Exactly. I mean, that's going to go down and, and your you screws go. basically pass through this to come into here. So. And everything just is a super, super nice, nice flush Yeah, fit. no divorce in flight. Exactly. So that, that just fits yeah, really Yeah, that's good. Well. That looks really good. Yep. So that looks really good there. And... Um, We'll that that almost looks like a plane in itself. Looks like a little dart. I'm telling you, man, throw some uh, throw a motor on that thing and a little fan, you're set. Now, guys, this is level two. Or actually, this is level one of your box. So you had your two wing halves, you had your horizontal and your vertical. So now we're going to take this. And we're just gonna oh, set now we got to go downtown to get yes. the fuse. So we're going to set this. Oh, that looks sexy sitting in there. And again, if you notice how organized this yeah, is, that's guys, great. I mean. You can't get any better than this. I mean, if you're going to take this to the field, 
why wouldn't you carry it like this? I don't know. I mean, just super, super nice and easy, Very you nice. know? Um, everything has a place. You have your wing spars. There's two in one here. They have two together, Ooh, if you notice. Nice. Very nice car. One, yep, you slide one into the other. Um, so that's a nice place to store those. All of your connectors are the clip-in connectors. Oh, nice. Um, brass points for everything, for yes. all of your screws. Mm -hmm. Your ventral fins are really nice because they slide right onto the bottom of the plane, so you can take those off as well. And again, with your winglets, guys, these go on the ends of your wings and they also slide on, so these can come off for transport as well. So the air just keeps them compressed into their slot? Yes. Faster yeah, well, you go, well, though. Well, they, well, they have, the, these slide into a key. Gotcha. They key in to the end of the wing as so. So in other words, if we come here and look right here, Wayne. See how you got Oh, key. yeah. So you got, you got a nice fat part in the beginning back, and a small so in the back and it keeps it tight. It's just a good key, just like that. Just a good key. You've actually got your nose cone, a spot for it. Nose job. And exactly. And, you know, there you go. Earth you, magnet. Wow, that's an improvement. Do that again. Wow. Tara, take a look at that. There you go. Woo! But what's really cool about this, guys, you got your little bag. Uh, another in, dime bag. Another dime bag. Yeah. And you've also got your bind, bind plug. Bind plug. Okay. Wow. And that will magnet right there into there. There you go. There. And it won't come out. And that goes right back into there. So there you so go. So they all stay in there during flight? Exactly. Everything's right. Look. See? Wow. Isn't that nice? That looks good. That's Almost. a strong magnet. I'm telling you guys, I'm pulling on it. It must be. Thing. Look. Yeah. I mean, you can hear it. Wow. So. That's really nice because again, you've got a place for everything. Your winglets have got a place, your ventrals have a place, your spar has a place, your manual even has a pocket over here, guys. This is your manual. Oh yeah. Really nice manual. Looks good. And guys, this is the, as I said, this is the bind and fly version of this airplane. And I was looking, actually I was kind of surprised that on the box, it did not say the KV and everything of this particular fan so i was going to look through here and just see it's got 130 amp esc now here is our kv on the fan it's a 1950 kv with a uh, 3670 in runner guys mm -hmm. 130 amp smart esc and guys guess what guess what wayne what this is a reversing ESC. Well, it so, has a reverse mortgage built in? <laughs> built in. Wow. Built right in. So you can actually flip a switch and you can make this plane go into reverse, guys. So how is, fast does it go in reverse? Quickly. Wow. You can either have it where it has variable throttle control for uh -huh. reverse, or you can have it where you flip the switch and it goes into full wide open reverse. Full wide open? Wide open. Wide so, open. <laughs> So with that being said, that's awesome. Always have your kill switch, guys. Oh yes, you gotta have a kill switch. Because what happens if you're taking off and you accidentally hit that switch while it just hey, left the ground and yeah. you go full reverse? You don't want to have that happen, okay? Yeah, that ain't good. I think uh, Brian Phillips might have tried that with the F sixteen eighty millimeter in what one happened? of his videos. Uh, it didn't really do anything crazy because he got it flipped back the other way. So it just quick. instantly started slowing down uh, yeah, and down? Uh, yeah. I bet that was weird. It was weird. He said it was weird. But he actually calls the switch pilot fatigue. So when you land and you want to flip the switch and have full throttle backwards, it just automatically slows the plane down very quickly. And then you go to throttle for your reverse so you can back up gently and turn the plane around should you need to. And it should uh, also be an abort switch if you don't make the runway and it's 250 degrees like it was yesterday and you couldn't get yours off the grass. Yes, yes. It'll Instead stop of hitting it. the beans in the corn, you can there just you hit go. the stop button. There you go. It'll wow. That's right. See, there's the You don't have to pull any corn or beans That's out of your right. intakes. Exactly. So let's pull this. And guys, look how nice that this is. That is. That's really box. nice. I mean, this is perfect. I mean, look at that fit. Look at that. I mean, you know. Man, if you were a bikini, that's tight. I'm telling you, right? I mean, there's no tolerances in here. You're not going to get any swash. That's awesome. You know? So we'll Total protection. Don't yeah. fly without protection. So we'll take this out and um, move that out of the way there. Actually, I just scratched that up with my fingers getting out of the box. Right you just there. scratched it? I did, right there. Yeah. Well, I'll give you 100 bucks for the whole plane. I doubt it. <laughs> Scratch and dent. <laughs> um, but, guys, this is, again, this Ooh, is... Ooh, hard point. Yeah, yeah, nice. Because that gets banged up a it lot. It does. So that's really nice there. That is nice. And um, 
will roll oh. over. This is where your ventral fins will yes. key in right here on the bottom. So for transport, again, you should yeah. choose not to use the box. Yeah. You're not going to break those off. Well, my Buick, um, it might break off. Well, not if you keep it in the box. That's the whole point. Well, I don't have one to break, so I guess I'm just a whining and complaining. Try to keep it in the box, in the DAX. You also, guys, these are all working air intakes. Really? They're, they're not just for looks. They That's a NACA work. intake, isn't it? They know they work. The air blows right through them, man. <whistles> yeah, it comes through the sides on each side. These are hard points as well. Yeah, too. that's good that's because those good. get really dinged up. I know mine are dinged up on my small exactly. ones. Exactly. They're soft. This is all hard points around here. This whole entire. So, any wear points, they got all the good, hard, molded yes. plastic so it will wear good yes. instead of being all dented up like exactly. mine. Exactly. These are hard in here. Um, you got a strobe on the bottom Ooh. here, air intake here. So, let's flip her back over. Yeah, that looks really good. I will show you the interior of the cat. Oh, cactus. interior. Ooh. Get over here. Got a lot of battery bay here, guys. Oh yeah, that looks good. Yep. And I'll tell you, another thing is pretty impressive on this airplane. If you look right in here at the thickness of the size of this carbon uh, spar. Yeah, that is. That's this a, is a good quarter inch by quarter inch. It's probably three eighths. Well, I gotta remember this is uh, metric. Yes, exactly. So, so what's three eighths? Probably what, five millimeters? Uh, I'll go six. Six, okay. Yeah. But guys, it's running all the way back yeah, that's to a here, good, good all the way matter. up to the front. Yeah, that's what I did on my B seventeen. It was flexing, and I oh, seen yeah. it, and I just used the cheapo wood not yeah. a dowel, but you know, a small, mm -hmm. just like that. Um, Man, that's big bay for your battery. It you is big, stuff right? Big in there. Yep, and I put the uh, shelf liner down in here as well. So the non skin um, which I pulled. I've already pulled the uh, Velcro oh, yeah. down. Now this is really cool. This is another thing they're putting in some of oh, these yeah. airplanes. Oh yeah, capacitor on the end for the spike. Like, well, yeah. Well, this is also if you have a brownout. Okay, you have a little gas. In is the that tank. when you have a bad landing and the shorts are full, or what? what no, that is if you have a brownout in the air and Ooh, that's bad. You have nothing. This will give you power to the receiver. So it's a small capacitor. Yes, it is. So it's a little energy retention. Exactly. Exactly. Huh. Just like a spring-loaded electronic device. Yes, device. that's right. That's why it plugs right into here. Wow, that's new. Is yep. that new or is that old? No, this is all new technology. That's new, really? This is smart technology, Wayne. Well, that could be. I didn't I mean, get past, right? uh, what, eighth grade? we got to get you smart here, right. man. Um, also, guys, you have the push-button bind on this particular airplane that you'll push right there. So you don't have to put in a bind plug. You have the ability, should you choose, but you don't have to. This does have the AS3X. Um, again, it has the safe recover, the auto level. Should you decide to use safe in this airplane, you can. Um, so it's, it's just a really good airplane, guys, for flying. You've got hard points here, latches, another strobe here. Um, so th and the lights on this plane are super, super bright at night. Yeah, it so, looks really um, good. Yeah. You've got a lot of room in here to do your hand, big exactly. old fat old hands and all the stuff. I will show you really quickly. Let me get a battery. In you want to get a battery? You want me to grab it? I'll get it right here. You want me to move your walker out of the way so you can get the battery? Yeah. And uh, these are six thousands right here. Yeah, guys, six so. thousands. Those are big. Always keep your packs in a bunker safe box, guys, because these can catch on fire. And I also weigh my packs and also date them as to when I buy them. And as you can see, this one looks really nice and I take good care of my packs and this one is over two years old. So that being said, just to lay this in here, guys, you can see. And that's a 6,000. This is a 6,000. I'll turn it that way so we can see that. And look at all the room you still got in there. And still got room to that's move. That's a lot of room. Back. Exactly. So, I mean, and then also, you know, your canopy, again, is, is very nicely done. Plastic here for yep. your latch. Mm -hmm. You've got a pilot in here. You can also take it off. They also drilled a hole for breathing. And if I'm not mistaken, this is plastic all down in here, so it will not gator. And it is tongued in. So is that guy breathing through that tiny little hole in the back? Yeah, obviously. Well, you know, if he was a real jet pilot, he'd have his oxygen on him. You would have something on, because it looks like he lost a poker game last well, night. He's got a he lost pug, some kind of bet. He's got bet. kind of a pug face, doesn't he? he got something but, uh, going on. But yeah, guys, so I mean... Again, you got plenty of plenty of space in here. Yeah, to, that's big. That, I like that. Yeah. That's really a lot of room. So, and uh, I mean, that's pretty much. Looks really know, good. Basically, again, you're talking a few screws, and this thing is together at the field, and you're flying. You take it apart just as easy. You put it back in the box. You're ready to go home, and you're not dinging your plane up the whole time. Yeah. So it does get much easier than that. No, I mean it's really. I mean, I like it. So um, when you're done with it, I mean, I get first flight. How's this work? <laughs> First flight. That's no? Is that a no? You think you're in North Carolina now? Yeah, I'm in North Carolina. 
So, um, you want to show how easy this thing is to box? Yes, up? yes. Okay, so we're going to put the canopy back on, latch that down Sounds for good. you. Sounds good. We're going to grab the lower half of our nicely molded box, sit it right up on the table there. All right. And then this is the wonderful part that this side Man, right it's down snug. there. Put it to bed. Just like that. Very and nice. That's pretty much, you know, you'll take your nose cone off, of course. You'll put that in there. Um, your winglets will pull right back. Just off, pull push, it off, forward, push them forward and pull them out. Pull them forward, yep. And um, the hardest part is really just figuring out how to get these freaking winglets back in here, man. Um, okay, there you go. There, that's, how, it that's how it goes. All right. And that is basically, you know, your your bottom section, guys. I mean, that's, that's it. Huh? That's pretty easy. So okay. that's the, the bottom half. Yep, that's the bottom half. So we put it to bed. That guy just does not look happy. No, you know what it looks like? It looks like one of those two, one of the two screws that hold him in there is doing something to him that it's not supposed to be done. Because he and just he, looks like, he's, he's, he's like, the, hey he man, he I just sat across the whole Pacific Ocean like he's this. He's already ran the pace, isn't he? I yeah, mean, he is. Either he drank too much. Well, I think what he did is he drank a Pepto-Bismol, the whole thing the other he's night. He's pinkish red. He's got he? some pink going on. He's got on. a little hue there. He looks on. a little, uh, well, it, it's a hot day. <laughs> All right. I'm sweating. So, All right, see you later. So basically, we'll put them in the basement section. Let's see, make sure I got this turned. Got it twisted. Uh, I got to make sure it's turned around. Yeah, and uh, you got your Spectrum shirt inside out. I'm telling you, you know it, man. Okay, so there, there it is. There it is. All right, so that sits down on there. Yeah, that's right? awesome. All right, total then protection. You take these screws out. Boom, boom, boom. Pull this right out of here. This is going to sit right down in there. Perfect. This piece right here. Make sure your surfaces are nice and level. Is going to set right down in there. All right. That's right. Then, like I said, you remember from the beginning, one wing was right side up, one wing was one right, wing. What's that? One something wing. Wrong. Wrong. <laughs> something wrong. All right. So we yes. have wing one, <laughs> wing Excellent. one, wing one, wing one. All right, and we also, wait a minute. You gotta we, lock we, it in? See, we're forgetting, Wayne. We're forgetting. I like how the we part, see, that's that, the right? we. we oh, always push. forgetting, never me, this but we. Piece goes first. That piece goes like there that. to protect okay. that. And then, and then there was another piece that goes. On the other side, there right you go. Here. Go in here like this. That's called lift and separate. That's right, now. Now you can put it in there. Now we there, messed right? up. Now. <laughs> This one here will go upside down. Oh, remember? that's right. Because yeah. there's one right outside up and then one upside down. It's going to go around right. this way. Just like that. Okay. Well, all done there. Part number one goes down here. The middle section goes here. And then your last piece will go. Very nice. Now, why would you throw that box away? There you go. I mean, it's and, just, you're, and you're ready to go home, guys. I mean, your plane goes home. And you never have to worry about it being jacked up like in my Buick. Exactly. That's right. And you don't have to worry about beating it, getting it through doors at home. And your wife seeing you come in with it and asking where did you don't get that get, from. Don't get me started on that. So, yeah, it's that simple. And then you get a buddy at the field to help you slide it back in the box. Yeah, make sure you graduated high school. That's right. Here we go. Oh! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Lift that, ahead. lift there it. Yep. Push it. Can you really push it? There we go. Push it. Push it real good. Push okay. it real good. All right, good. so we're in. We're tight. We're in. I think we're in. Yep. So that's good there. And then you drop it down on this side. Oh, it's on the, it's hitting the, uh, the tongue. The tab. Oh, I, oh, I, oh, I get it. I got it. Oh, I got it. Get in there, you little. There we go. Well, you know why that guy is probably the way he is because he's been sitting in the dark all the way across the Pacific. <laughs> yeah, no doubt. With all his other friends, probably what, 5,000 in a container? Yeah, exactly. All right, guys, so there you have it. Back in the box, ready to go home. Very nice. Or be hidden or whatever if you don't want the wife to see it. Um, but you're ready to go, guys, and your plane's not being beat up. Yeah, you know? I'm with you on that. You can and just I'm, stack all your planes and boxes all the way up alongside the wall. Exactly. Never have to worry That's about right. it. That's right. And no dust, no nothing, no varmints or anything are getting to your stuff. And you can, like I said, if this is coming across the ocean in a container, you can bet your butt sitting in your house or your garage is going to be It'll last a long time. Exactly. So nowadays, guys, they're making these jets and planes so easy to take apart and, and put back together that 
don't throw these away the minute you get it. Think yeah. about it because transport right now, as I said, this can lay in the back seat of your car. You can put this plane and the FMS. You could get three of these planes stacked oh, in the yeah, back seat easily. and still have your trunk uh -huh. space for other things. Yeah. You know what I mean? Uh -huh. So I would definitely think about this. You put your handle on it if you wanted to, you know, and you carry like your suitcases. So if your wife tells you to get out, you, you pick up You put Louis space. Vuitton on there, anything you want. You can <laughs> put a rainbow strap. sticker on there yeah. if you want. You can do all that's, kinds of stuff. That's right. But uh, so that's it, guys. This is the E-Flight 90 millimeter Viper jet from Horizon Hobby. That's correct. And um, this is the binding flag, guys. It's and awesome. It's, uh, great jet. Can't wait to get it out to the field. And it's supposed to be a marvelous flying jet. And this is uh, going up against the uh, Futura. Futura. This is V3. the bet you got going yes. with the guys yes. up in Raleigh. Is that where they are? That's right, man. So, and when is that going to take place? Hopefully as soon as we can all get together soon. If I can get them here, we'll go there, either or. We'll load up the truck and head that way, man. They Which, nice who has the better field? We both got nice fields. Really? We got a nice place too. You've yeah. flown up there where they are? I have not, but I've seen all the videos. Either. Yeah, that's right. That's right. That, okay, yeah. yeah. It is a nice place. So you got the tree Bob. line in the back. That's yeah. the only thing I'm not used to. But I like our field. It's a wide distance. It's is wide. it a wide distance? Because yeah, on nice camera, it looks like, like it's yeah. kind of close. It's pretty wide. It's right? a nice place. I've it seen is. a little fencing thing they got. Yeah, that's yeah good. so Jeff and Bobby got a good thing. If you haven't checked out their channel, check it out RC Plane Reviewer. And uh, tell them Jeff sent you. So, that's it for today, guys, and uh, we'll see you in the next one. So I'm Jeff, and this is Jeff's Custom RC, and Wayne on the camera, and we are out. Bye. <laughs> Bye.